Sometimes history can be found right here in our own backyard. So for the next few weeks in Longmont, there was a museum exhibit all about local contributions during World War One. Well, there, Denver 7's Jason Grenauer found a relatively unknown story, but it's definitely worth telling. World War One is often forgotten in the shadow of World War Two, but uh, everybody had a story. Most of those stories are now told through these. The smallest being individual pieces of barbed wire, uh, grenades, all the way up to uh, uniforms. Then there are the war heroes whose stories are well known. We knew the Buckley story. Um, we knew that John Harold Buckley had grown up in Longmont, uh, been killed in World War I, and then um, Buckley Air Force Base and the local American Legion post were named for him. The Dick Smith story was one we really hadn't heard that much. I am the great niece of Albert Dick Smith. Who may just be Longmont's forgotten World War I hero. Buckley is on the left and Dick is on the right. They were best friends and I would say they were inseparable, that they did everything together. Albert Dick Smith was just 21 when he volunteered to go to war with his best friend. They flew into enemy territory in France where the Germans were also flying and they shot the Germans down. With these pinned to his lapels, keeping track in this log book. I think Buck shot down five planes and there were at least three that my great uncle shot. Smith would write letters home almost every day. He always started his letters, dearest mother. Including this letter that would become part of local history. He had to write the letter when Buckley was killed. Um, he wrote the letter to his mother to tell Buck's mother that he had been killed and he had made the supreme sacrifice. So enriches the story to be able to say, wow, we have these letters, the eyewitness account from his best friend. He survived the war, came home to Colorado, but died of the flu only a month later. No buildings are named after him, just this museum display case he now shares with his best friend. I feel like he was as much of a hero as Buck. He just, he didn't want the attention. But generations later, that doesn't lessen what he did. I feel pride in what he did, and uh, I'm so happy that it's, that he's, you know, part of my family and my, and my heritage. Thanks to Jason for sharing that story. That was nice. And that exhibit's going to be uh, running through May. And it includes artifacts from several Longmont natives who served during the war. And you can find more information on our free Denver 7 app.